Welcome to Cadence Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we're going to walk you through the installation of the Fidelity.1 software in a Windows system. The first thing that you're going to have to do is to go to downloads.cadence.com and download the latest hotfix for the Fidelity.1 software package. Always keep in mind that the number that appears with the software package, that is the version number, is going to change as we make new releases available. If you need more information about the downloads page, please check the link that we have in the description. Once you have downloaded the latest hotfix for the Fidelity Point Y software package, it's going to look something like this. Please keep in mind that at this point you need to have the Cadence License Manager up and running. If you need more information about the Cadence License Manager, also please check the video that we have linked in the description where we walk you through the whole process to get this going. So at this point, I'm ready to install the latest hotfix for the Fidelity.1 software package. So I'm going to double click on that particular installer and wait for it to open up. All right, the installation in a Windows system is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and click next after the welcome window. Here you have all the right to use license agreements. So I do recommend that you take a look at these, read it, and once you're done reading these, you can actually click on the I accept the RTULA, click on that, and then click next. At this point, you can choose where you would like to install this particular software package. Of course, we're going to offer a default location, and I'm going to go ahead and use that one. You can choose whether you want to create a start menu folder and shortcuts also for all users. I'm going to leave that checked. And you can also create a desktop icon, which I'm going to leave checked. And then click Next, and your extraction of the files and basically the whole installation is going to start. All right, after the installation is complete, I'm going to go ahead and run the Fidelity.1 software package. Again, keep in mind that at this point, I have my Cadence License Manager with the Fidelity.1 feature up and running, and the appropriate environment variable, which is CDS underscore LIC underscore file, has already been set up appropriately. I'm going to click Finish. And then the Fidelity Pointwise software package is going to go ahead and start. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.